hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to see how to update the quantity of the products in our cart so previously we had displayed the items and we had just made this uh, increment and decrement button work so when you refresh this you can see it becomes one to the default thing so this is added as two quantity in our cart and then when i increase it refresh so it becomes two so now we are just going to increase this in our database so when you refresh it will still be three so let's get started with it so here is our code and we have the decrement button and increment button so we are going to add a class over here called update qty just copy that and paste it over here okay so over here you can just create a click event say jq click or even better we can go with jq on okay so jq on say document and over here we just paste the event so that is click and then your selector so it is a class right so with dot i will just paste this so why we are not using this click is because once the div is reloaded so like this part is reloaded the jq click was not going to work so this is not going to work it will require jq on okay so we will just change all of these once we are reloading the div after the deleting item so now let us just alert and check if it's working good till here refresh and and here it is okay so it was just cache so you just hard refresh that is control shift r and then it start working so even for the decrement it's going to work so now what we are going to do is we are going to fetch the product id and the quantity as we had did for the add to cart button so i'll just copy this and paste it over here okay so we get the quantity whatever is there right now and the product id so you can just alert this and check alert the quantity refresh so for now we have one over here so when i press it becomes two okay so we are getting the updated quantity so we just need to update this thing in our database okay so we'll write a ajax over here say jq ajax so the method is going to be post method say post and the url it is in our functions handle card dot php just close this and we have that in this so i'll just copy it along with the data copy replace yeah I have the product id product qty and that is this thing and then the scope is going to be update okay and this data type is not required you can just remove it and let's go to this handle card dot php say inside your functions handle card dot php and here we have the switch case so you have case add and then you have default so we need to create another case over here case update just check for the spelling so you have not uh, given different spellings over here yeah so just copy this and paste it over here so when it is update that time what we are going to do is similar to this one we are going to take the product id and the quantity so just copy and over here you just paste it you have got the product id product quantity so this is the field name over here whatever we have given product id and product underscore qty that thing we are giving it over here and these are the variables and you have the user id over here so next what we are going to do is we will check if it is already existing in our users cart so we have that query here we can just 
copy the whole code over here and paste over here so i'll just explain it select star from cards where product id is equal to this and the user id is the authenticated user id so if the product is existing in the user's cart only then we are going to update it else we are going to say something went wrong so in case the user changes the product id through inspect element in the browser it will give an exception over here okay so if it is already existing only then we are going to update it say dollar update query is equal to say update table name that is cards set the field names you have to give so the product id we are not going to update so only the product quantity we are going to update right so the column name is over here set prod id is equal to within single quotes give you a variable name that is prod underscore qty and then specify the where condition where the where the id is equal to not the id where the product underscore id is equal to okay so here you have given product id right it's supposed to be product quantity so let's just check prod qty a column name is prod qty so the product id we are going to specify it over here and the user underscore id is equal to the authenticated user okay and then we're just going to write the mysqli query function here a mysqli query function pass the dollar con comma dollar update query okay so if the product is not there in the user's cart then we are just going to say echo something went wrong and once this thing is done we are going to give the break statement okay so this is an ajax call right so we need to return a response on the success so you can just put this in a if condition if update query run then we are going to say echo 200 else echo 500 okay so in your custom js over here you can just copy and paste i'll just alert the response so you can just check refresh when I just press 1 something went wrong okay so it is going into this one yeah here so let's check what's wrong so it is going in the else condition so let us just check I'll go to my browser inspect and you can go to the networks refresh something went wrong so in the payload you can see product id is empty we have the product quantity and the scope so the product id is not fetched properly for this update quantity function so let us just check okay so for the add to cart we had just given the value for the button and for this thing we don't have it like we're just incrementing it so we cannot just take it like that so let us go to the card.php and over here you can just give an input type equal to hidden input hidden and give the name as prod id you can just give it as a class and the value is going to be the product id okay you can just copy this paste say prod id 
okay so we'll go to the browser inspect refresh we have it in this you can see the value we have over here okay so yeah let's close it so now we are just going to find this prod ID to the nearest product data so we'll just paste it over here you can copy and paste change the variable and we are going to find the prod ID okay you can remove this so this dot closest of product data find this class and that value we are just fetching it okay so you got the product ID now let's just refresh so I got 200 okay so this thing is updated in our database so you refresh it will still be 2 so now let me just reduce it okay so it's working perfect so let me just reduce this quantity we'll remove the alert okay refresh and then you can just keep it anywhere and then refresh the page it will stay there so we are done with the updating this quantity so in the next video we will see how to remove the products from our cart so one more thing guys over here so when i just log out and then try to access the log cart page you can see it is still able to access and it's giving some errors so if the user is not logged in we have to redirect the user to the login page okay so let's do that quickly so i will create a file over here say new file and authenticate.php and in this like we had done in the admin middleware we are just going to check the auth is set or not okay so we are not checking the role we just open php close php and over here and if the session is not set we are just going to redirect the user say header location colon login dot php okay or you can just let me just show you in your card page we have imported the user functions right so go to your user functions in that you already have the session start and the redirect function so you can just use this with the url and the message so we'll just say redirect function the url is going to be login.php and the message is going to be uh, login to continue okay so I'll just save and include this in our card.php just copy and paste and this is the authenticate.php right okay there is some spelling mistake over here authenticate and I'll just copy and paste that okay yeah so let's refresh and check refresh and it's showing login to continue okay so if I try to access the cart or even through the URL it's still going to say the same thing so let's log in And then when I try to go to my cart and I'm able to access it okay so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to update the quantity of the products in our cart so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you